I forgot how legendary Gata actually was. Bro is actually so powerful. And this isn't just a meme because of all the characters, if you give them a name, like a monster or a name, they change forms. But the fact that Gopta stayed in this natural form, that has further implication on its true potential, that it's already been reached and that the naming doesn't do anything. He also learned how to summon a direwolf and escape from Dorgon after Rimuru abandoned them by himself. He's also taken out the prince of the lizardmen, Gabiru, right? Now, Gabiru's a bit of a joke, but we treated him, you know, in a duel with the fucking spear. That's his weapon. Gopta just does it. And remember that before even that happened, Shuna fed Gopta poison. Gopta survives and even learns poison resistance that Rimuru doesn't have. So he comes back in this weakened state, recovers, shows up out of nowhere, defeats Gabiru instantly with shadow travel, one kick, and now he gets a fucking special weapon from Kaijin. If you don't think Gopta is unironically one of the strongest beings in this universe, I don't know what you guys are watching, but let's begin today's reaction. Yeah, the ogres are trying to protect Rimuru though, huh? It's kind of funny. Rimura likes Ryads. Please protect the forests. Benimaru having none of it. Ogano <laughs> Just casually eating a potato chip? Wait! She's stealing our snacks! A potato chip! Man, this orc lord is so, like, rare, huh? They don't even believe it still. Oh, she knows. What? What? What's so awkward here? <laughs> oh, she's right in between them. <laughs> nice. Right, this is how Trainee um, becomes part of the executive council. See? Wait, wait, wait. Isn't this that one character from Death Note how he sits like? There's a lot of memes of people just sitting like this, right? Like, like, like this. This is... This is like comfortable for like a couple minutes and then your legs kind of start dying out. Alright, I'll do this too. I'm 14 and this is edgy. Because they eat them all. They eat them all, right? They don't need the food supplies because they just keep eating all the corpse they, they just like destroy. Devour. Never mind, starved. <laughs> oh, CGI orcs incoming. Oh, no CGI. Interesting. Oh, that's actually impressive. There's no CGI here. Let's just eat them. Ew. Like, like, e like everything? And it never ends. That's why they keep marching. I didn't realize how, like, kind of scary Guild was. Because you know, later when Guild joins us, I don't think about this shit, but during this arc, it's like, damn. What's the plan, Rimuru? When did we develop potato chips here? Who did it? Would they be willing to eat slime? I mean, what would happen if they try to eat Rimuru? Like a bite. How would that happen? Gelmude again. Gelmude. And then this could potentially lead to Leon, so he's gonna take it, right? Because of Shizu's wishes. Because she is the forest, you know? See, she knows! She knows everything, it's a little creepy. It'd be too easy, honestly. Like, there's, there's they're not really a threat. Yes. Divine justice? What do you mean, divine justice? Through Rimuru, right? It's not like trainee kills, right? Shion has just always been so aggressive with Rimuru right off the bat. And then right to her titties. Yep, exactly. He really loves that place. He loves that. 
Sono Tori das. Why aren't you flexing? Flex, come on. Oh, he's flexing. He's flexing. Nah, we'd win. Gopta and his gang. Eavesdropping. Oh, wait, it was so boring. They fell asleep eavesdropping. That's hilarious. Gabiru! The king would listen. Uh oh, so way going in. Why are there sparkles? <laughs> He's falling for Soei. Soei is really cool, though, yeah. Remember, we have like three hot dudes, and then we have a middle aged uncle. I don't even know his name still. Soei is very useful. Yep. Might be one of the most useful, honestly. <laughs> Kurobe, I'm never gonna remember his name. The chief scene isn't an idiot, because he's actually a good person, right? Gabiru is just special. Just way too special. Oh, there he is again. After getting kicked by Gopta, dude. How long was he knocked out for? You lost. Yeah. Don't be face. What do you mean? You're making excuses? Oh, he acknowledges. Yes, he is the true. He's the true leader. Gabiru is the fucking leader. The cope they have to do. Wisdom of the weak. You mean you guys? Like what the fuck? I just. Oh, what the fuck? Whoa. Clown guy! I just stopped to say that these guys are just professional glazers. God damn, but he's been the entire time. What the fuck? Yo, this guy's super important. Laplace, right? Laplace, right? And like Laplace and these like um fictional shows, like shonen shows, right? Laplace is like the name of like an important demon lord, isn't it? Well, at least Mushoku Tensei. And, oh, whoops, not this one. But like uh this guy, he was already here, so it's not really Gelmude. It's more like Okay, I'm not, I'm not flexing. Oh, 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 I gotta, I gotta defend myself. This is not a flex, okay? This is an example I showed you early on the stream of multiple people coming to my channel say, Wow, you know, this guy reacted so many, you know, hidden gems and not just popular shows. He's so different. And my point is, no, you have no fucking idea. It's because I'm a fucking small channel that I can't compete with big channels for popular shows. I wish I could farm those popular shows. But the reason I'm farming these shows is because that's what only allows me to do in YouTube algorithm. I am not a hero, okay? That's that's the whole point of that screenshot. Anyways, this dude Laplace, he was there the entire time. So it's not really Gelmude that's like master puppet master, but more of Laplace. Is that what's going on? Interesting. Yes, he is. He's the, he is the true outage, yes. I can't believe he's just in the fucking middle of the huddle. He's just there in plain sight. No one is asking questions. Yo, Lizardman! Hello? <laughs> oh, Gabino Sama's so cool! He's clapping. He's clapping. Hello? Yeah, yeah, who is that? They knew the entire time! This guy knew the entire time! Laplace. That's crazy. He was introduced here? But he's not a servant of Gelmude, right? Because, like, yeah, they knew and said nothing. They were like, okay, this guy's in their huddle the entire time. This dude, like, at the end of season two, like, I thought these clown face dudes were, like, not that important. I, I don't know. I thought Demon Lords were super important. But at the end of season two, this dude, didn't he beat the shit out of something really important? And it, it just fucking blew my mind. It's like, wait. Wait, what? This guy's that strong? Ain't no way he's working under Gelmude. He's probably just like acting that way, right? That's right, Orc Lord Geld. He, he is not. Oh, he was talking about dad, not Gabido. My bad, my bad. So this is where he like whispers nice words into Gabiru and makes Gabiru do something stupid, right? This is Zoro's voice actor from One Piece? What the fuck? This is Zoro? That's so weird. 
察もそこそこだが、我が輩たちは。自治体に戻りあるんや。That's an amazing voice acting job, man. The range is crazy. 片付けない。Bye bye. This guy, man, so important. More CGI? Nope, no C. Oh, there's some CGI behind them. There's some CGI in the background. They're, they're mentioning it well. You know, if they didn't have to fucking say trample every fucking time they took a step, maybe they wouldn't be so tired. Escape! Run away! You don't have to die here. Soe, Soe. John Smith. Feel this aura? Oh, oh really? They're really hyping up Soe. Even a hundred had no chance. I mean, he is a supreme monster, the ogre that got a name. Oh shit, Soe! Wagana was shadow. Damn. You, you know, one of the beautiful things about Slime is the supporting side characters, the world building. Like, this is just a meeting of Soe and the Lizardmen. And, like, when we're with Soe, because Rimuru exists, you know, everybody simps for Rimuru, nobody around them seems too important. But when they operate by themselves, like, immediately, Soe so is, like, walking, and the Lizardman cheap stains, like, oh, do you feel that aura, right? They hype him up. Stuff like that is very fun to me. When other, when they focus more on the supporting side characters and them, so that it becomes the world building is, like, more immersive. <laughs> Yeah, this is kind of a random offer, huh? Why would they want to accept other than for survival? Do they know that name? Wow, see, even right now, training is so important. I'll kill him, kill him right now. John Smith, string time. Shit. I'm surprised he didn't cut his head off. <laughs> okay, the king's talking for us. Shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill him now. <laughs> John Smith. Yo, yo, what is, what is up with this fucking lizard man chest guard? What the fuck is his armor? Why do you just have a fucking breast? Like, what is his bra? What, what about all this other exposed area? Anyways, whatever. <laughs> Yo, the lizard men are a bunch of sluts. Their outfits are Jesus. Damn. Yep, don't fuck around with Rimuru. <laughs> your aura. <laughs> they keep talking about your aura. That's right. Name monster evolved. Yep, well, he's a slime. Well, well, that's that's the tricky part. I don't know. They're, they're, we can't really just tell them he's a slime, right? Okay. We have that long? By the time Rimuru gets here, are we gonna still- are you guys gonna still exist? Alright. I feel like this is just an excuse to get Rimuru here to take out the orgs. Oh, it just disappears into the shadows. Damn! Okay, I, I thought that was all the pressure being relieved because Soe is gone. But you know that Gabi was gonna fuck all this up, right? Because of what Laplace said to him? Oh. Look at that trident. Three prong spear. So many lizards, man. They can actually just copy paste these lizards here because they're just lizards, you know? Are people really not gonna die? Okay. Inspiring speech from the chieftain. Four days later, we got three more days left. Oh? Wait, who's attacking? 
Oh, it's the orcs are already here. Okay, okay, okay. Can you? Uh oh. The idiot is here. Oh no. Oh no. The son of the king. The prince of the lizard men. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. No, we waged war against them. <laughs> <laughs> he started shit. What do you mean? He's talking about the bullshit. Oh, dude. Oh, no. Oh, no. Put that pride away. What are you doing, bro? Of course he's had. He's old. Bro, oh, he fucking. This is a coup, right? Straight up, it's a resurgence. It's like, all right, take the fucking boomers out. Let me get in charge now. Oh, he fucked up. Oh, no. What are you doing? Why are we infighting? Why are you chanting Gabiru in chat right now? Gabiru. 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 Oh brother, it's his it's his, it's his brother. I didn't realize. So that was his daughter, okay. Alright, well you never know. Maybe Goblin is cooking up something, man. You never know. He's inherited the fucking three-pronged spear, you know, the trident. Oh god. Oh the power! Wait! This power! It's actually called a Vortex Spear. Is it actually acknowledging him? This is some bullshit. I thought it would reject this thing. You're not worthy. What are you idiots doing? Yeah, all 12 of you. Oh, God. No. No, you idiot. He does look kind of cool here if you ignore everything about the plot and the story about him. Yeah, but this is like, oh my god, peak stupidity. Gabiru! Gabiru! Kakui Gabiru sama! Alright, we have Gabiru chance here, then we have Trample all chance here. <laughs> what does Rimuru have? Rimuru! Rimuru! They're saying Kazuma in chat because Kazuma from Konosuba is the voice actor for Gabiru, by the way. Alright, they're launching an attack. Oh, shit. <laughs> so cool. What the fuck was that? Look at this animation. He runs? Look at the armor in the back. Not a single opening, right? In order to get a lethal hit on these armors, you gotta go for the armpits, the necks, the eyes, some kind of joint where there's openings. Look where this lizard strikes. <laughs> you fucking striked middle of the fucking back. What do you mean? What do you fucking mean? What do you, what do you, it's all right, whatever. See, that's how you're supposed to do it. See? Perfect right there. He went right for the neck, right? This is how you're supposed to do it during medieval times. You go for the gaps in the armor. But they have more numbers, you idiots. His talents. Talents. See, all they do is eat. You're just giving them more food, you dumbasses. It's the unique skill. Yeah, it's the unique skill they don't know about. <sighs> well, because Gabiru's being an idiot, it makes the situation more dire. So when Rimuru shows up, it'll be more hype. Damn, the chance go kind of hard though. And that's the episode. I forgot just how big of an idiot Gabiru truly was. I mean, I knew, I remember him being an absolute fucking buffoon, but then he gets a huge character arc where he gets like, we still do the dumbass Gabiru chance, you know, we got the Kakoi Gabiru sama, but he gets better later. But right now, holy shit, he fucking takes over his own place by putting the dad and his sister in jail. Everything was going so well. All we had to do was just play defense until Rimuru shows up. Bro fucking goes out for no reason, starts hunting orcs, but just causes more problems because he doesn't know about the unique skill of them just being able to eat their fucking own. 
But again, if this didn't happen, we wouldn't have like a cool dire... Well, it's not cool for them, but it's cool for us. You know, we want the anticipation to be there. It needs to be a little bit dramatic, right? Shit like needs to happen so that Rimuru can show up and actually save the day. I actually don't remember at all, like how the fuck Rimuru solves this, right? Does he just use a black lightning? Like how does he even take them all out? I don't know, but stuff like this. It's always, you know, it, it, the rewatch is always fun because you never even realize that Laplace was here the entire time. This dude Laplace, I feel like this dude Laplace, is this our first time seeing Laplace, I think, right? I think it is. I don't think we've seen him before, but like this character, super important. I never understood how important he was until end of season two, like at the very end, right? Laplace just pretty much gives some guy like a 10 piece combo and just like kills him. It's like fucking crazy, right? And yes. Next episode should be hype, but hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.